On the screen, Arnold Schwarzenegger seemed like an invincible hero with strong nerves and a steady heart. But behind the scenes, he turned out to be an ordinary man, working with understudies, trying to perform his own stunts, and even getting injured. Like many others, he also experienced fear. One such movie where this happened was The Eraser, the last classic action movie starring Schwarzenegger. This movie was made in the mid-1990s when Arnold was at the peak of his movie career. He played the role of a superhero for the last time and gave himself to the role completely. In the movie, he performed many impressive stunts, including firing an electromagnetic pulsator, fighting an alligator, and even jumping out of an airplane for a parachute. All the elements of a classic action movie were present, even if the special effects looked naive. It was a real action movie with a lot of action, which is rarely done today anymore. An important role in the shooting played a team with which Arnold worked. He brought his cameraman, whom he knew from Terminator, and his friend, Danish actor Sven Olthorsen, with whom he had already acted in several films. The main antagonist was played by James Caan, star of The Godfather, who, despite his attitude to action movies, wanted to work with Schwarzenegger. The main female role was played by Vanessa Williams, singer, actress, and model. Around her, there were various rumors, including a romance with Arnold and an attempt to restore his film career through participation in this film, which eventually succeeded. On the set, conflicts arose between director Chuck Russell and producer Arnold Coppelson, even to the point of refusing to communicate with each other. Arnold helped to smooth the conflict and cooperate. During filming, Arnold attempted many stunts on his own, including an airplane jumping scene that still looks impressive to this day. He experienced fear, but handled it, even if the director tried to make a joke about it. As you can see, even superheroes turn out to be pretty ordinary people sometimes.